Hello everyone, my name is Ed Wallman and I'm here with uh, Craig Howie of Howie Guitars. Craig, thanks for being here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me at your yeah, home. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, thanks for doing this man. Sure, not a problem. Um, I wanted to do this, uh, you recently built me this amazing guitar. And uh, as part of my thanks to you, uh, I just wanted to create this video and kind of get uh, yeah. your story out to everyone else and talk through the process that we went through and how special it was for me to be a part of. That was fun. It turned out absolutely stunning. Oh, same. Thanks, man. Yeah, so when you first started building your guitars, you didn't look up how to build a guitar. Right, right. You know, I, I had, you know, I, I played a guitar since I was 12. It all started with my... My dad uh, has an ES-330 that he gave me from, from 1964. Grew up playing that, learning that, and so I was constantly kind of learning, you know, how guitars were developed. So I had an idea, I had this general idea, but no idea how they did it. You know, I, I knew what it should be, but not how to create it. And my wife always talks about failing fast. Mm -hmm. You know, fail fast, fix it. Good to go. Unfortunately, it can be expensive, so you, know, <laughs> you start off with some cheap wood. And then I, you know, I read two books that really changed everything for me. One was called How to Fly a Horse. Another one was called A More Beautiful Question. And it really brought up the idea of beginner brain, uh, which basically is the idea of doing something that is not new, but you don't know how to do it, but you do it just from your own perspective and so you maybe come up with things that nobody's ever done you know so for example one of the one of the biggest differences between my guitar and a normal semi hollow is I don't bend wood at all I carve it out of a solid piece of maple whereas oh, okay. I didn't you know, know that. so yes you know and same with yours there's no bending at all it's a solid chunk of maple that is hollowed out with that shape so it's to me it's more structurally so that's what kind of gives it's a little more it gives weight more to heft it. yeah and then that allows me to go into all the crazy things I've done with the Nautilus shells. And so in, in designing the guitar and the whole, in the whole theme of the beginner brain and everything, um, I, just, I just went to, I have a mathematics background, I used to be a high school math teacher and I've always been obsessed with the golden ratio and so when I decided on how to design a body, I thought, well, I'm gonna use the golden ratio somehow. So I, I started with Nautilus shells. Um, this is a pretty far evolved version. It's not the latest, but this is pretty close. Um, what what this does is well, it, what am I looking at? Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. So these these are Nautilus shells, which are um, nature's perfect example of the golden ratio. Um, and this is the internal part of of an escape body. Um, the Griffin model has just one set of shells up, on the, here, right? up there. Yeah, the bases have, have two down here. What this does is this creates um, different densities. I mean, I, I hear a lot about wood. Everybody talks about tone and wood is the, you know, you gotta use spruce, you gotta use, you gotta use black wood for this top and this and that. And I agree, wood, wood makes a big difference with tone, but- Because of how it resonates. Right, but I got to thinking, what about shape? You know, shape resonates differently and we kept tweaking where the shells are in relation to the bridge and then what we've learned to do is find the different points on this internal body that resonate with different frequencies and then we go in and say okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna embed a piezo here because that's treble one here for bass and then you can mix and match them in certain ways so that's what's going on with the latest Howie guitars is that they they have um, piezo pickups embedded in strategic places. Over here we have a, uh, a switch for the piezos. Down is all the way off, middle is piezo mixed with the pickups. Yeah. And then all the way up is just uh, just, 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 just the piezos. Just the piezos. Yeah. And you can see there's a little hatchback here for a battery that powers the preamp. They change the tone and make it more buttery. When you, when you just mix them. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That's so cool. I'll just play a little bit of uh, the piezos by himself. It's like a not distorted lo-fi. Yeah, 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 that's a really good way to put it. 
Yeah, and it's, you know, and what's what's cool is that's just one iteration where where we put the pies and mics, you know, so we could get a little bit different tone if we would have put the mics here or there, or vice versa. Yeah. through some distortion as well <laughs> gotta find that but you, you actually like uh i do i want it to feed a little bit i i gary clark jr is like my hero and so kind of get on that edge where it starts to kind of get to that yeah, point yeah okay Here while we have yeah. them. So this is, you said this is a Griffin. That's the Griffin model. My, my youngest son's name is Griffin. Um, and uh, can you get it solid body? Yep, you can go full solid if you want. It's it's a little bit heavier and I go I go a little bit thinner with it. Um, and it's just got the carved top. Um, the, the Escape, um, I don't do solid, I suppose I could, but it's it's the one that has the full on all three shells, whereas the Griffin only has one. And it's a full hollow body? Yeah, it's completely hollow. It, it has this, this is the, the main body and everything else is carved. The back is carved as well, so you have the, the full shape. Um, oh, yeah. So you have both sides symmetrical there. Um, and, you know, depending on the type of guitar, you've got the two F-holes or the one. Um, but definitely all the shells. And then the Bull series is, are my bases. They're basically a Griffin body, but with double horns. And they would just have the two shells in the bottom. These two. They it have. doesn't have that guy up there. Right. It's cut away. Yeah, just the two horns. Bull, the Bull series was named after my oldest son, Gray Bull. We call him Bull. Yeah. And uh, the Escape series was the first one I built, and we named it that because I was trying to escape my other job. And so, we <laughs> so if you could cool. kind of talk a little bit uh, about some of the uh, community outreach stuff that you do. Yeah. Um, I mean, so so right up front, I have to say that 100%, 99.9% of this comes from my wife because she's, she's the true heart of it all as far as giving back. But her, her big thing was, you know, the whole idea of starting with why and getting to, I want to, I want to do this because not just, I want to do this. And to me, it's about leaving something behind that will resonate for years and years and years after I'm gone, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, I can get really, really mushy about it. But what, to me, what it is, is I'm providing a filter or a tool for someone to literally display their soul. I love seeing someone play my guitar so much. It, I'll get teary, I'll get goosebumps, I'll get, you know, like even when you started this morning, I was like, well, there it went, you know, it's like, <laughs> just so neat to see, I, I made that and watch what it's doing. You know, we need to get guitars in kids' hands more. And so one of the things we're gonna start to do now, we're gonna do a fourth series. Um, so we got Bull, Escape, and Griffin. Yeah, and it's it, my youngest son, Griffin, came up with the name for the series called the Phoenix series. They're reading Harry Potter right now, of course. And, <laughs> and uh, but it's it's going to be basically a, I, I I despise having to waste any wood, so we're basically just going to take any scraps that we can, laminate them together, and create a solid body guitar called the Phoenix. But then what we're going to do mainly with that guitar is we're going to try to give it away to. Kids that can't afford a guitar, A, and um, B, that maybe don't know that they want to play guitar. So, you know, what we're going to try to do is go into a school, I'm going to explain to them what a guitar means to me. I mean, it's just, it's life. To yeah, me, it, was, it was a journey for you. Oh, it's, you know, it's it's what, it's one of the main ways my dad and I have connected in the past. It's, it's it breaks down racial tension. It, it It's a, an amazing tool to me. And so that's what I want to talk to these kids about. Um, and so we'll go to, I think we're going to start with just one middle school year. And we're going to give two guitars away, one to a, a boy and one to a girl, because we're also really passionate about getting more girls playing guitars, because there's girls definitely can rock too. girls. We need more girl guitar heroes. We do. There's not enough. At least not. there is enough. They're not being recognized. That's, that's okay. what needs to be sure. said. So anyway, we're going to give them away with a small amp. We're going to get, probably like, I like your idea of getting a small orange amp. Make sure it has headphone jacks so they can 
take it home and start to learn. We're going to give them, you know, like five lessons with it. And then we're going to track those kids. And, and my number one goal, I should say Jen's number one goal that she's sure. <laughs> taught me, is to, I want to produce a guitarist that will take that through their life. You know, mm. something that will make them just, wow, okay. <laughs> and then I, the other thing Jen came up with, um, again, worrying about wood, is um, she's going to try to set it up so that we can uh, plant one tree for every guitar built. Oh, cool. So, you know, wherever that's going to be. Then eventually make a guitar out of it. Right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's, let's just keep it rolling. <laughs> That's fun, man.